Davy, you've got good pitching. Or is that by design? Well, I think every ball club, you know, tries to get good pitching. You know? In terms of evaluating young players, something you've done a lot and generally pretty successfully through your career, like, it's not just with measurables, but like, what do you see when you see a player that that stands out? Is it that like the combination of command and, and tools? No question about it. I mean, I look at a pitcher and I look at and if he's a starter for me, I look at how does he keep the ball down? Uh, does he get a lot of ground balls? Is he pitching ahead? You know, I mean, because. It, the best pitch of baseball is the first pitch strike, because then you can nibble a little more. But you got to get pitch out front, and you'll know early on with the guy. And it's also about his makeup. It's like he, he's not afraid to get hit, because he's coming right after you. And uh, and then the guys that are good with command and can change speeds and stuff, they, their ceilings. It's unlimited. Makeup is one of those things too that's always been like... Oh, makeup, I believe in makeup. You know, I mean, I've taken guys uh, like a Bachman over a Giles back in the day. Uh, Giles had five tools, all of them good. But, and Wally Bachman, but he, he wasn't a grinder. Uh, Wally was just a grinder. He was going to find a way to beat you some way or another, even though he wasn't a good fielder and not that good a hitter and had no power. <laughs> he was going to find a way to beat you. Yeah, right. If he didn't think he could hit you, he'd bunch you. Backman's a good example for right. me. For I mean, nice, but was a grinder, you know. I mean, and he also believed that he could do anything. And he started gaining weight, and I said, that's the wrong thing, baby. Yeah. You know, you can try to hit home runs all you want. But gaining not, weight, like, you're not gonna, if he didn't get fat. You're he not going to be up yeah. you know, and play center field for me. Weird that Lenny Dykstra would keep gambling even after... Uh... Oh, I knew mean, he would. <laughs> he always believed that he could win, no matter what. Now, is that like, that's just ball player brain? Describe to me how a, a ball player sees the world in that regard. Because, like, with Dykstra, you can see in his play that this is a guy that's going to get into some stock shit he shouldn't get into. You want every athlete to be, think that he is the greatest, that he can do anything. Confidence going crazy. You want that because that's what makes you successful because you believe in yourself and that you can accomplish what needs to be accomplished. Does that make life harder away from but, baseball to have that yes, mentality? Yes, I mean, it, it does. And sometimes if you don't have other things you can focus on that give you value, and the things can go away. And, uh, but you got to have that cockiness and that confidence.